Let's define an inner product on the polynomial space. There are an infinite number of inner products we could define. For example, we will soon see an inner product on the space of all continuous um, functions. And certainly polynomials are continuous functions. But here's the setting we'll work in. We've got this polynomial space P sub N. And Let's say we're looking at polynomials on some closed interval. And let's say that you are taking or maybe making is the better word here observations. So we only know the value of these polynomials at a finite number of points. And of course, that's very realistic. I mean, say you work in a hospital, over an eight-hour period, you take somebody's vital functions every hour. So after hour one, hour two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. And you want to do some kind of mathematics with these observations. Well, you can only use the observations you have. So let's say we have n plus one observations, where this n and this n match. So here we have nine observations. We could work with polynomials of degree up to degree eight. So let's call these observations T zero or rather, I guess I should say, let's call the times these observations are taken, t0, t1, up to tn. Then we define the inner product of two polynomials. Very similarly to the way we define the dot product of vectors. 
vectors. We evaluate the polynomials at these points. Then we multiply them pairwise. And add them together. As I say, there are an infinite number of dot products we could define on the polynomial space. The distance we derive from this inner product is intuitive. So there are an infinite number of inner products and an infinite number of norms and an infinite number of distances. But some of them match our intuition better than others. I mean, suppose we look at two polynomials where these are the known values. And we ask how close these polynomials are to each other. And then we repeat that question with these observations. Our intuition probably tells us that these two polynomials are closer to one another than these polynomials are, just because our observations are much nearer together. And this inner product preserves that intuition.